Hi guys! Uh, I wanted to do another product review a little bit. There's Ginger again. Uh, I told you I tried the um, Ultimate Direction Mountain Pack and I have used it quite a few times now. A few. Ginger, shh, shh, shh. And, um, and I do really like it. And I am using it today. I used it for my little training run today. And uh, one of the things I like about it is uh, it's got Velcro here, a really wide Velcro band. It's very wide and it's see-through. It's very light and so you can adjust it according to your size and it's going to hold it really well in place. It, the wide band, the lightness of it, and the adjustability is really awesome and it holds it very flat. So it's very good for running. It doesn't move at all. And um, so I guess I'll go over my thoughts so far. I went over my last video, but um, I bought I bought the Ultimate Direction Mountain Pack. I think I got it from the uh, Ultimate Direction website. Pretty sure, yeah. And um, let's see. I think it was... 50 something dollars. I mean, it's not cheap at all. Uh, and I think it comes in one size. And it is a large pack. It's got one zipper. I hope you guys can see this okay. It's got one large zipper area. And no other zippers inside, but there is a key compartment. I'll show you that in a minute. One thing I just want to say real quick before I um, take it off to show you more is I did go ahead and purchase and just received the other day the um, additional adventure pocket and I added that on today for some extra storage, zip storage and accessibility. The problem I have with this pack is if you um, go into it, which I do because I'm just a casual runner and I, I'm always needing stuff or pulling out stuff or putting in stuff and um, there's one zip pocket so things will fall out only if, if I pull things out you know they won't fall out once I put them in there and zip it closed and everything but if I'm trying to find something so I ordered this extra adventure pocket and I just wanted to show you it's it's pretty long and it has a velcro or there's also loops that you can put a belt through. It's the same really, really, really light material, webbing, very light Velcro. It's got one zip compartment here. And then it has some pockets inside. It's got a, the main zip pocket and then, let's see, maybe it's two elastic pockets outside. So you, I could put a goose in there, or poopy bags for my dog, or um, toweling paper to wipe my sweat, or something I don't worry about falling out because it's got a, it's kind of springy, but it's not that good of closure. So I'm thinking maybe goose and things I wouldn't mind if they fell out because unfortunately it, they do not close. They do not have a closure. But they would hold a lot if I want to stuff something in there. But I just am liking it um, because it's just something additional where I, I could put, I think I could put my camera in there. I should try it out. Keys, just an, a really uh, accessible and I can move it around. It lies completely flat. It's really flat, thin, light. And it turns out I used it today, I, I wore it today. I didn't use it because I didn't get into it, but I really like it. It fits really, really comfortable. And because you can move it around. So if I'm in the car driving, I move my pack in front because of the steering wheel and sitting sitting down in the car. And then I, I keep it a little loose for that so I can move it around. Because once you tighten the belt, it's very secure. It's not moving. So you can't move it around unless you undo the belt, which is really easy. It's just Velcro. So, but this pocket can move easily also. You can position it wherever you're comfortable on the bag. So, I like it today. I just kind of put it off to the side a little. And 
side. So here's the back. And you can maneuver it, you know, wherever you want. So I put it right here over my hip. The other thing I like about this belt, it's really woman friendly. It doesn't just sit in one place since it's adjustable. You can put it up high, you can put it up low. I like it kind of lower on my hips to distribute the weight of the water and not ride up on my tummy and my <laughs> chest. So it's uh, really woman friendly that way because everything is stretchy, adjustable, and um, it's kind of smallish. The, the belt isn't good if you really need a lot of belt. Like, if, you, if you're a really big person, it wouldn't fit. But if you're small, it'll fit. And if you're medium, it'll fit fine. So um, I, I'm really enjoying it because it's nice and light. So for the pocket, little uh, adventure pocket today, I just had a very short half hour training run. All I put in there for accessibility was my chapstick and uh, a hand sterilizer spritzer that I got from a running race. That's all I put in it today. I was just testing it out, just didn't have. And then in the, the mountain pocket, there's a harder case, stiffer case with the body body bottle that's 600 milliliters which is pretty heavy when it's full so I didn't fill it all the way I, I just I have it about half full so it wasn't as heavy today and I carry it for short runs just mostly for my dog in case she needs water or me and then in the big pack see it's really see-through it's very comfortable mesh it's really light, really see-through, and very comfortable. But it's it's really large. It's pretty good capacity, but it does stand flat. It's just one large pocket, and the bungee is really handy. You can put a coat outside uh, and hold something outside. Uh, and you can also adjust it really easily to hold whatever's in the pack flat against your body, which I really liked because... It really holds flat against your body if you adjust it. It's really cool. Very good design so far. Um, and what I have in here today is a collapsible water bowl for my doggy, my very large phone, paper towel for sweat, poopy bags, another hand sanitizer, which if I needed it, it would make all this fall out, doggy treats for the doggy, and that's it. Oh, and I put my car key in this extra, it's supposed to be a foam pouch, but it's not big enough for my phone. It's, it'd be big enough for a flip phone, but for a smartphone, it just does not work. But I put my car key fob in there and it's nice it holds it secure with a little a little tiny velcro closure that needs to be bigger actually they should put more velcro across but it's really flat it's sewn against the back so it holds it really flat my cell phone will not fit in that pocket because it's not elasticated at top to stretch at top um, let's see if the cell phone fits in the adventure pocket Let's see. Oh, I took it off. Where's the adventure pocket? What did I do with it? I must have put it over here somewhere. Oh. Here's the adventure pocket. It looks about... Let's see how many inches across it is. It is nine inches nine inches long for us Americans that use inches and four inches wide. So it's pretty large, but it's very light. I mean, super light, super flat. I don't know if it's waterproof. I hope it's water resistant anyway. Let's see if the cell phone fits in. I have a very large Samsung. Let's see, unzip it. If I stuff one in first, let's see if it fits. And, oh. Stuff it in. 
and it fits. Oh, so that would work. So far, I'm fine with having my cell phone in the back of the pack, but if I wanted to access, have it accessible, it could do that. Uh, I like just having an extra chest, like if I needed some money, a wallet, or you know, registration for a race, or directions, or this is gonna be very handy. I'm very happy I got this extra. I don't remember how much it was. I got it from ultimate.com um, to go along. So all together, like, it was a really expensive purchase because this is like 50 something. And this I think was 20 something. So it's like $80 for two of them, which you could buy a hydration pack for that. But for me, I'm really happy uh, I got it because I showed you my Amphipod belt and it just, they don't hold enough inside for me to be able to stuff like raincoat in or my doggy's coat or you know much extra at all so i'm super happy i wish they had more pockets on the outside accessibility pockets but um and this pocket for the water bottle is stiff so it doesn't allow for cinching if you want to put something else in there it's really deep and really stretchy material. So you could put whatever you want in there, but it doesn't close because it's got this hard opening. It does have an elastic to hold the bottle in place. All in all, it's very light, very comfy, very woman friendly. Um, lots of room. I'm enjoying it. So um, that's my um, experience so far, and I want to tell you I got the extra Ultimate Direction Adventure Pocket for some extra zipper pocket and accessibility, which I'm super excited about. I could have fit what I fit today all in there. I had totally room for so much more, but then it wouldn't be accessible if I needed it, especially hand sanitizer right now. So you could put in sunscreen, you know, whatever. Oh, it even has a key fob which I really like because then you could hook hook your key in and it won't fall out if you're reaching in and out. But I'm putting my key so far in that cell phone pocket that doesn't fit my cell phone. Okay, thanks. Uh, comment below if you have any questions. Uh, I got the event. Oh, and I'm enjoying this um, in terms of comfort and lightness so much that I ordered with the REI sale, the Ultimate Direction Ultra Waist Belt also. Uh-oh. And that's going to be for short training runs where I don't need um, so much pocket room. Which I love pocket room. And the good thing is this will fit on the new one too. So I'm excited about that. We'll see when that comes.